Hi Virgos, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe. If you enjoy the reading, keep in mind this is a general reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. And real quick before we get started, this is going to be your singles reading. Um, also, be mindful, I've disabled the comments because I keep receiving messages that a lot of you are being scammed and you are going into leave a comment and scammers are replying and you are following their instruction, booking readings with them, they're taking your money and then you're trying to get it back and reaching out to me and I can't help you with that, you guys. I cannot and I don't know what's going on, but at this time I'm not gonna be taking any new clients on for new personal readings. If you have booked with me in the past you can you may continue to do so but going forward if you're here on my channel and you want to get a quick reading from me you can show up on sundays for the live stream i will add other days going forward where you can donate whatever amount you would like and there'll be a q a where i'll pull a card for you all right virgo so let's get into your reading okay so this is going to be for singles and the rest of march going into april and this is for those of you who don't have anyone at this time and maybe you're just looking for a general reading or if love shows up then love shows up so yeah let's get into this so obviously the sun card is here so this is good this is a very positive outlook on your life um the energy coming through it's like joy happiness success um and a feeling of playfulness and freedom and really some good vibes i keep hearing that good vibrations from marky mark <laughs> um yeah that's old i'm dating myself as i usually do on this channel okay so yeah the sun energy is very positive so this is a good way to start this could be for some of you material happiness um you know being successful in your employment this energy all playing out, but it feels like mostly this is where you are right now. Even if you don't feel that way, it's also an energy for you to be reminded to keep a positive mindset going forward. You know, sometimes that's a struggle. Sometimes you, you have to, you know, counteract negative thinking with positive thoughts, right? Um, and kind of just really going with the flow and just letting all the negativity leave your life and also becoming a positive influence um, to others in your life around you exuding joy and happiness despite the negatives you know the negatives in the world the negatives in your community the negatives in relationships or with family okay and on the job okay let's see what else is going on here so i like this virgo i like this all right, what else does Virgo need to know as a single person? I know you guys are all, well, not all of you, but some of you probably wondering when love's going to come in. Okay, so, hmm, got the Seven of Swords here. So, Virgo, hmm, so this kind of feels to me like, um, doing something behind the scenes right now virgo you're doing something behind the scenes you're cutting out you're cutting away um some of you might be newly single or you have you have broken away from a relationship you've you've you maybe you have snuck away you've escaped you're running away from something or you have already and um trying to get yourself looks like if you've done that or if you're doing that i see you like whatever you're cutting out or removing or getting away from in your life at this time it looks to me like the whole purpose of that is so you could be happier so i feel like if you haven't already done that you may be doing that throughout the rest of this month where it just feels like you know sometimes to me this feels like carving away or, or cutting out the unnecessary in your life so that you can find more joy and happiness so i really i like that right because i feel like this is what's behind you getting into this sun vibe here um it's kind of like taking a look at your life and saying you know what is serving me and what is not right um like if you spend i'll give you an example like um I don't know for some of you maybe you spend a lot of time on social media 
this is an example, and you've just decided, you know, this is taking up too much of your time, you're not able to get out in the sun, you're too distracted. Um, that's an example. Something that is just, it could be like um, you're fasting in a lot of ways, or getting rid of things, um, or, or t getting rid of things that aren't bringing you happiness and joy, okay? So for a single person, if that's something you're doing, good for you. Yeah. Why? The death card is here in the reverse because it's it's killing you slowly. Something something killing you slowly. And it's either you're making a decision in March to cut it out of your life and, and to be done with it so you can be happy. Going back, I feel like running away from the suffering and the struggle and going back to happier moments or happier times in your life, whatever that means for you, Virgo. Um, if this is something you've been doing, kudos to you. If this is something you've been thinking about doing, now's the time to do it, Virgo. Um, okay, let's take a look here. So we have, so far, Leo and Scorpio energy. Okay, let's see. What else does single Virgo need to know here? Oh, wow. You got the Wheel of Fortune. This is great. So making change in your life, Virgo. Seriously, good for you. Making some changes. This feels to me like um, that Wheel of Fortune is like a very uh, lucky kind of card here. Um, if you're in this place like taking action because you want to be in a better place in your life or you wish to be happier i feel like this decision um because look <laughs> got two swords left behind there and the two of swords is a card of decision this may be something that you've been contemplating for a while it could be with the seven of swords also an energy of um you know, maybe you're getting out of a relationship of some sort. You're just kind of like, you know, you've made the decision. You're leaving it there. You're taking your five swords, which five swords, which is also a sign of um, basically like maybe you're getting out of an abusive relationship. It's basically like the five of swords is cutting things away and taking the high ground and, and shutting things down so that you can have your blessings so you can have change which is what the wheel of fortune is this is a lucky break this is what i feel it's a turning point in your life virgo um and i feel like some of you may have been pondering this for a while you know what's on the other side of these blockages or these things that are keeping you stuck um you know you're tired of suffering you're you're tired of being on in near death so to speak not physical death but spiritual or um emotional with the death death card in the reverse um I just feel like for some of you, um, they're giving me the word inertia and like a sense of things being stagnant. Like it feels like in order to get the ball rolling here, you have to break away from something so that you can have success. Whether that's a relationship, a job situation, um, your health, you know, uh, like, or a career, whatever's going on, I feel like there's stagnancy, nothing's happening. The death card in reverse is like, wow, we're suffering here, we're stuck, we're spinning our wheel in the mud, and we can't gain any traction to move forward. You know, either you got to slip a board under that wheel, or it, it's just like you got to cut those sandbags because the energy is too heavy, and you're trying to rise here, Virgo. And it looks like uh, like, I don't know specifically, I gave an example of social media, but I don't know it specifically what it is going on in your life, but you're, you've been spinning your wheels, spinning your wheels for some time, nothing's happening, and it looks like it's it's time for you to, um, I don't know, get out of the car and walk. If you can't get that wheel going, get out of the car and get them legs moving, you know, um, or call for some help. It's, it's just like the wheel is trying to move. The wheel is pressing you to move, and when it's in the upright, this is this is forward movement um virgo what do you got going on here because i feel like this is this is definitely an energy of feeling stuck and feeling hopeless i was thinking the other day 
sometimes like when I'm trying to lose weight, um, so I'll, I'll, I'll do like like zero carbs or like very low carbs um, when I want to like cut back on uh, shed a little weight. And then I hit like a plateau <laughs> and then I'll, I'll go and I'll eat a cookie <laughs> and then it like kind of vamp, uh, it kind of like. Uh, ramps up my my metabolism and it gets things going again <laughs> maybe you just need to have a cookie virgo i don't know but i ca- i just feel like look that's even in shape of a chocolate chip cookie right there so uh, whatever's going on here uh, i just feel like you got it you're setting things in motion here like you're putting a shock to a shock to the system a shock to the game to get things to get that engine revving okay let me see what else does virgo need to know some of you are just like I don't know you're in you're in like a drab going nowhere situation and it's time to change it's time to make change Virgo especially like the rest of March I feel like this card is going to be am I'm thinking eight of cups is it it just I saw it where to go oh no hmm six of cups okay all right. <clears throat> hmm. um, okay, somebody might be going back and having a reconciliation with someone from the past. Um, some of you might have left a relationship and went with somebody else and that person turned out to be not what you thought and it looks like there may be like a reconciliation. Some of you, not all of you, there may be there might be uh, you might not be purposely going but it, there there's just an energy here of revisiting the past there's an assault nostalgia and uh possibly a reunion all right let me see here okay we've got the queen of wands so hmm masculine or feminine energy showing up okay so it looks like you're taking on this Queen of Wands energy here, Virgo. Um, if you're on the cusp of Leo Virgo, you are activating your fire side for sure. Um, it looks like a bold move as an energy as well. Um, even if you're not on the cusp there, you're activating your fiery passions. Um, you're, you're making bold moves or at least one bold move in um, the rest of this month and going into April. As far as a single person, um, some of you might be trying to reach out or reconnecting with someone from um, your childhood or from your past, okay? Um, or you might be answering a message or um, an offer that's been given to you from someone in the past, okay? Well, it wasn't the Eight of Cups, but we do have the Six of Swords. So, yeah, there's a coming out of the comfort zone energy here, Virgo. <laughs> A necessary transition you're making okay let me see getting away again travel moving forward getting away um, now is this a love a love the six of cups what is this okay the queen of swords okay well I will say this you are you are receiving some type of an invitation or communication from someone to visit them <clears throat> or to spend time with them this is someone you used to know okay i will tell you that there is some type of invitation or communication or some truth or someone says are asked to get together to reunite or have a reunion or reconcile okay uh let's see okay the hanged man oh no more waiting here Definitely not. Um, and it's in the reverse, so. I feel like you're being very selfish right now, um, Virgo. And I feel like it's something you need to do for yourself. When I say selfish, I don't mean, I mean it in the sense of you may have considered another relationship or other people more than you've considered yourself and it feels like in this time period you're actually turning things around and taking back control of your life in some way and um 
being selfish in that way where it's like, you know, you've, you've given and given and given and given and you may not feel within this reading that you're getting or receiving anything equivalent in return, a lack of reciprocity. And I f it feels like you are kind of saying to yourself, you know, screw it. It's time for me. It's time for me to do me. So either you're reconciling with someone that you either had a romantic relationship with in the past or, you know, from your childhood, it has to be any time, or it's a friend who's inviting you to come spend some time with them. Okay, um, or relocate or move to where they are, whomever it might be, friend, lover, whichever. Okay, so you've got the King of Pentacles. So, yeah, you know, the King of Pentacles can sometimes be very selfish or materialistic ways. Um, so I feel like you're definitely looking at your finances, your wealth, the, your investments, everything you've built up, you might be taking all of your money out of the bank if you were had a joint account with someone. Um, it, I just feel like you're sneaking away from a dead end situation here. And uh, you might be becoming single for the first time. Like even if you, I mean, it's like you're confirming it in your head. Well, it looks like I got to do this my on my own here. This is kind of what I feel like. And it's also a little bit of like analyzing your situation, your finances, um, what you have to work with, um, and being selfish in order to accomplish the goal or the change that you need to make here in your life. You know, like I said, um, you could be in a relationship right now by coming to terms with uh, something that it's just not worth pursuing anymore because um, it's one-sided um, and are taking steps to cut away and, and move forward. Others of you um, may, might be completely single as it is now in this stagnant situation could have something to do with just not feeling content in your life and needing to uh, make some changes and uh, start all over some way, somehow, okay? Um, and also reconnecting with people maybe from your past or a good friend or someone who's very sincere or kind or a former lover, okay? So yeah, two of wands. So there is an energy. I feel like you're at a crossroads in March going forward because of this decision. Which way do you want to go? You have choices here, Virgo. And that's if for... I, I just feel like for you, that's a good thing where you might not have had choices before, or you might not have felt like you could choose or make a decision on your own. But you are definitely looking forward, looking out on the horizon here and kind of saying, you know, hey, I could go left, I could go right, I could go straight, I could even go back if I want, but I don't have to do anything. But I get to decide where I'm going to go, how I'm going to go there, you know, what I'm going to do when I get there, or, and even where I want to go, right? So all that, all these questions, I feel like there's a pool of opportunities opening up here for you, Virgo, um, because, and it all stems from, you know, feeling like you're just in some kind of dead-end situation, and it's just not going anywhere, so you're cutting loose, foot loose and fancy free, oh, we gotta cut loose, foot loose, kick up your Sunday shoes, <laughs> I got my 80s on. What can I say? Getting into a better, some of you might be traveling or maybe you're going somewhere, uh, like I said, drinking a hand and your toes in the sand, thinking about that or making plans to do that. I love it, Virgo. So it looks like you're single and fancy free. Yeah, look at that. Coming away from a struggle. Uh, changing your job. You may have been suffering financially as well or f or have a fear you're going to suffer financially if you don't get out of this dead end job um can, worried about not being de independent worrying about being too dependent there's too much uncertainty in a situation somewhere somewhere in some area of your life that you can't count on it to change and so it looks like you're taking the steps to change um, so that you don't go into poverty or have a poverty mindset. Like you're really taking care of business um, beginning in, beginning now and going forward. You also have the hermit. So a lot of self-reflection asking. I don't really feel like you're asking yourself what you should do. I feel like you are um, asking for 
signs at this time, okay? Um, because you might be, like I said, well, you are a little bit at the crossroads. So I feel like you, you might be asking for a sign what to do about something, right? Which is, is wonderful. You're, you've got the star here in this lantern. So you have hope. Um, you're definitely seeking renewal, but I don't feel like you're kind of like talking to yourself and saying, well, you know, should I go to France or should I go to Australia? I feel like you're kind of like asking for a sign about where you should end up, where you should go, what direction you need to go. This, this is like taking time out to yourself and really contemplating and thinking, uh, doing some self-reflection as well, and also asking yourself, um, kind of like, who are you, um, and what have you become, and what will become of you going forward, and like I said, you're seeking spiritual guidance more than anything, um, being on a quest for personal truth, spiritual illumination, going within for clarity. And that's all of that hermit energy. So it's good. Let's see your outcome. Okay, you've got the page of wands. So you're definitely going to be getting your enthusiasm back and a sense of excitement. Wow, page of cups. Um, listen, wow, this is great. Page of Cups is new love as well. Um, enthusiasm, excitement, new love, lots of communication going forward for you. Okay. All right. So the world popped out. I'm going to show you it real quick, but I didn't put a bikini on her. Let me just cover her up. Okay. So there you go. Starting a new chapter in your life here, Virgo. You've got a brand new beginning happening here for yourself leaving the past behind, or whatever it is that you're leaving behind, um, leaving it in the past, so to speak. And um, yeah, it's like you're writing a brand new chapter to your book, to your life story here. Um, you know, Virgo, it's kind of like, you know, you've completed the goal. You finished the lesson, the contracts have all been completed and signed and it's done. Okay. Um, and now you're moving forward into a brand new life or a brand new start here. So this outcome looks great. I see lots of invitations. I feel like as soon as you open yourself up to this, um, all of the invitations and people coming out of the woodwork um, begin to appear here in your life. So let me put this, let me get this covered up because I don't need YouTube coming after me for pornography on oh, my tarot cards can we give me a break okay let me see this is good virgo this is a good positive thing freeing yourself is the answer this this and you know i'm not telling you what to do you know your story better than i do but if this is resonating for you in yes yes this is something i've just been needing clarity and i've kind of known it you know I don't think you're lacking courage because I don't see the strength card here or in the reverse. I don't think you're lacking cor courage. I think you might be lacking the faith. And I feel like that might be the reason why you're seeking that spiritual guidance. You may even be asking for more faith in your life to be able to take these steps going forward, to free yourself, to have this new adventure in your life. Um, you know, it's a risk for you. Because you're kind of like the the full card with the is the number zero, which is the O, which is the beginning, the omega. This is like a brand new start here, and it's kind of like, hey, wherever my sails, wherever the wind takes me, that's where I'm meant to go. And it's kind of like freeing yourself, like I said, um, taking back control of your life. And if that's something that you've been wanting to do, this looks like the prime opportunity for you to really start manifesting these things that you need to do for yourself as long as you are sure that this is what you need to do for yourself. In other words, you know, the fool, it looks like you won't have any reservations about this, the fool. Um, the fool is basically like a baby. Um, can't reason about anything. Um, 
just basically takes the risk um, because I feel like Virgo, you might wind up just getting into that energy because you might have a tendency to overthink things and it may just be the message for you Virgo stop overthinking it that's why you've been stuck that's why your wheels have not been moving there's a funny scene and I, I've brought this up before on my channel but I'm a huge Seinfeld fan of course that was from my generation when that show was on I know a lot of you get that but there was a scene when <laughs> George Costanza he was just so down on himself because I don't remember what it's called, but nothing was ever working out for him, you know? So he decided, and if you must go back and watch that episode, it's hilarious. He decided, Jerry said to him, well, if everything you've ever done doesn't work for you, maybe you should do the opposite of everything you've ever done and see how that pans out. So George started doing the opposite and going in the opposite direction of everything he's ever done. And things began working out for him. <laughs> It was like he couldn't lose. I, I think he became like manager of the Yankees baseball team. He, he met a girl that liked him, even though he was short, fat, and bald. And he was, he was, it was just hilarious. And this is kind of what this reminds me with the fool. It's like for you to take a risk and not overthink it and not get yourself so deep in a rabbit hole that you forget where you started. It looks to me like you know where you are and you are aware that it's time for you to make a change and cut away or cut out from something. Um, but it's just it's just a Nike slogan. It's, it's just do it, Virgo. Um, as for the faith, you know, let me tell you something about the hermit. When the hermit is in the reverse, the hermit in reverse is in deep isolation. The hermit in reverse is like, like in solitary confinement, basically, and just stuck in his thoughts constantly and he is lonely and he has a tendency um, like he's in complete isolation and he the more he thinks about it the more he overthinks the more he keeps repeating the same mistakes over and over and he gets himself stuck well Virgo you're already stuck so stop overthinking it because that is what's keeping your wheels spinning have your thought contemplate it momentarily and then take action here and do what you need to do now let me ask if there's going to be all right so i'm not going to ask because we already saw for some of you there's reconciliation with someone from the past okay there is a possible new love start but there's also um, if that's just a reconciliation with a friend or getting together with a friend during this time there is an opportunity for new love communication with either someone specific or um, several different people if you're putting getting opening yourself up to um, dating or meeting other people it's definitely going to come it's definitely going to happen I don't uh, let me see do I want to find out do we want to know let me we'll do physical features just to see who could be coming in um, what they might look like but this, this reading feels like it's mostly about you and the changes that you are making in your life. Okay, we have someone showing up here with red hair. Okay, someone who is of average height. Someone who is slender. Okay, a whole bunch, so we'll take a look. Okay, we've got someone who's bald. Someone with a beard, someone with black hair, someone with brown hair. Oh, it's too many. Someone who's short and someone with a mohawk. Okay. These are all the options. It's everybody, Virgo. All these options are coming in for you. Amazing. Let me see what Amira's Love Oracle message is here. Okay. America, Amira's. Love Oracle message for single Virgos. Okay, you've got a fair male who has lighter, is lighter than darker. That could be in hair color, eye color, and skin color. And you also have, oh, you've got money. So you're coming into your wealth, good finances. As a single person, I'm gonna stumble upon a small fortune with the Wheel of Fortune there. I'm not going to take those and we'll just pull one out here. 
All right, you've got the Ice Queen. You might be a divorcee, you could be a parent. And being very discerning with your choices. All right, connecting with a soulmate, Virgo. Great connection, great relationship happening. Okay, um, so Virgo, I'm going to leave that message there for you. Let you ponder that. I think the biggest message here, part of your, you may not be physically stuck in something. You could be mentally stuck. Okay, and I think if you are in a position of being mentally stuck where the thoughts keep trolling you, um, I think it's time to just, to get away from those thoughts is to take action and do something different. Do something different, Virgo. Don't overthink it. If there's something that you need to do um, that you feel trapped and you can't stop thinking something, you need to take physical action. This is what I'm talking about. Physical action um, to get out of your head. Um, there are people who are super, super physically active and they never think a damn thought ever. And then there are people who spend so much time thinking they never get up out of their chair. Balance it out. It's okay to have a good, deep, analytical thought as long as it's positive thought and it's fleeting and you don't go down the rabbit hole. Make sure you get up and do something. Move yourself. Get that energy going. Um, you know, if you're stuck in your head um, or stagnant and things aren't changing and it's getting worse, you want to get into out in the open and get more, um, the, like I said, the sun vibes or something more, it, be more physically energetic with yourself to pump up the blood, you know, so it gets to your brain and says, hey, we got no room for thinking now, it's done, you've had enough time, or devote yourself to just a certain amount of time each day, you're going to overthink a thought, <laughs> Virgo, I know all Virgos, all Virgos, I've never met a Virgo that doesn't go down the rabbit hole with their thoughts it's just like when you go on youtube and you're looking for like a documentary and and then at the end of your youtube searches and everything you've explored you're you're looking up a video interesting uh video on how to slice lemons like you're you're you like come out of that rabbit hole <laughs> Virgo. take this risk whatever it is that you need to do um take a chance do something opposite of what you normally do and i feel like you will free everything up for yourself if it's a relationship that you're dealing with it's stagnant get out there and um you know move yourself either away from it cut it out if it's not working out your job situation it can apply to anything and i'm not very specific here obviously but i feel like once you you know get that that wheel going again um things are going to start happening for you all right, Virgo, so trust the process and keep the faith. Happy sunny vibes to all of you guys, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. All right, take care.